outlining their concerns about the school district's plan to overhaul our aging schools. The Jacksonville Civic Council is asking Duval school leaders to make changes to its facilities master plan, calling it expensive with many shortfalls. News for Jacks reporter Elizabeth Campbell tells us more about the letter and how parents and the district are responding. This letter outlines concerns of the Jacksonville Civic Council, specifically from its education task force, about the Duval County School District's nearly $2 billion plan for new and renovated schools. The first concern is that the plan is excessively expensive. The letter says the plan has a per student cost of about $30,000 to $45,000, but notes that charter schools have much lower per student cost at twelve to 15000 the letter also says the district needs to consider enrollment for both public and charter schools. The council says in the last four years, district operated schools have lost an average of 1,000 students per year, while charter schools have gained about 1,400 a year. The district says it has considered enrollment for both public and charter schools and that the original draft plan reduced district student seats by 5,000 and reduced district schools by 25. If the tax increase were approved, it would be about $70 more a year for the average family. Every person I talked with today says they're in support of the school's plan. $70 a year, I honestly don't think. It's going to affect anybody. I mean, if it can help our schools, then why not? I mean, it's good. It is for, it's for the kids. It's good. Yeah. I don't care to pay more money. So the school can be safe and healthy. The letter also says the district could save money by building schools cheaper with charter school building standards. But the district says that because of state law, that is very unlikely that the district must meet certain standards that charter schools do not. To see this full letter and more response from the district, you can head to news4jax.com. Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station. As for how much money a half cent sales tax could bring in, the district's plan calls for about $1.9 billion. So the tax would last 15 years and bring in about $80 million a year, which would be about $1.2 billion total. The, average re the annual revenue could be altered a bit each year, though, based on factors like inflation.